Extinct Dog Breeds Part 7. Would you be buried with your dog? Let's go back in time. It's now 1500 BC and we're in the Shang Dynasty in China. And let's imagine you're part of the elite noble class. You live in a gorgeous house, participate in some pretty ruckus activities, and everybody's going crazy about a brand new technology. Bronze metal. At least I know from playing Valheim how big of an upgrade that is. God, I hate trolls. Now as a noble, you're able to afford a dog. You choose this guy, a Hapa dog. These little fluffy guys kind of look like a short hair Pekingese, or a little like a pug. That's because the Hapa dog was selectively bred to make breeds we see today, including the Lhasa Apso, the Pekingese, the Japanese Chin, and of course the Pug. So why did they go extinct? As time rolled on and the dynasties changed, people's favor for dogs also changed. Just like when bronze came out, everybody stopped using stone. So over the years, the populations dwindled, and they finally went extinct in the 20th century. This is one of the last known photographs, and this is a taxidermy specimen in Tring, England. People in the Shang Dynasty were also known to be buried with their dogs, and some believe it was ritual sacrifice.